Welcome guys, let's talk Halloween TV series. Yeah, because they want to keep flogging that dead horse. The uh, recent trilogy, lo you know, love it or hate it, it absolutely had diminishing returns. Diminishing creative returns, <laughs> for sure. Uh, and now they're rebooting it. That's right, it's a complete reboot. As if we haven't had enough of them. <sighs> ah, God, man alive. Uh, anyway. Miramax, yeah, it's still a thing, believe it or not. Quite shocking that that is still a thing. Miramax TV boss sat down with Deadline and spoke a bunch of stuff uh, and revealed some elements of Halloween as a TV show. They also spoke about The Gentleman, so that was obviously a great movie, fantastic movie, great rewatchability. Uh, but it's also going to be a TV series now. But So we spoke about that, but predominantly we're going to focus on the Halloween stuff. I'll touch a little bit on the gentleman stuff, but it's mainly the Halloween stuff that I'm interested in. Just because... <sighs> creative bankruptcy. I don't mind the gentleman being turned into a TV show. I do mind Halloween being turned into a TV show. And them just going, forget about it, man. Just don't worry about it. No, reboot. Ugh. Anyway, here's subscribe if you're new, guys. Turn the bell notifications on. And let's take a look, right? So... Ah, oh, whatever. Anyway, Mark Helwig is individual who runs Miramax TV, right? Um, so there was a global premiere of the Guy Ritchie series, The Gentleman, the TV series, now for Netflix, which I've got to say does actually look good. And he says how it was a, a, a like a pandemic series. Uh, in 2020, he took over Miramax TV and Guy Ritchie's The Gentleman movie was on Helwig's mind. Literally, a billboard for the Miramax film had been put up on his street corner in the late 2019 and stayed there until 2022, with Helwig passing by every day. So he did say, just, and we'll get to the Halloween stuff in a minute, but he says, look, it started in the very early days of the pandemic when I first joined Miramax and found myself on these Zooms with Guy Ritchie and his producing partner, Ivan Atkinson. He said about the show's origins... Uh, the film had turned into a little bit of a cult success after its release. The movie was one of the last major releases before the world shut down. It was such a great movie. So there was an opportunity there because Guy had originally conceptualised it as a TV series. And then uh, Bill Block decided to go make a movie. So there was a proof of concept that was baked in there. The show presents a, represents a proof of concept for my mandate here at Miramax TV which is taking film IP and adapting it for television with a filmmaker-centric approach. It's locally produced at a reasonable budget for that territory, though ultimately aimed at a global audience. So that sounds cool, right? Uh, and just a little bit more about that before we move on to the main event, the Halloween stuff. Uh, to me, the key thing was looking for ways to try and make it work, that the budget did not go beyond the scope of what's possible in this region. Uh, but the series can reach that wide audience and have a sense of scale to it. That's cool. That's fine. I'm happy about that. That sounds good. You know you know what's reassuring about this? When someone's like, you know what? Gotta keep that budget in check. Wow. That's shocking in today's market where budgets are just out of control. So, cool. I'm happy with that. Uh, they also say about season two plans as well. Um, which sounds interesting. But anyway... This is the same approach that they've got with Halloween. So that's why it's important to cover some of that stuff, just as an FYI. I'm sure some people are like, you conned me into watching this. It's mainly about gentlemen. No, it's not. But we do have to cover that because that's the sort of ideology they're taking through their whole TV filmmaking approach, right? Take a film, turn it into a TV show. That's not wholly original. The Gentleman, yeah, original because it's an original series uh, property. But yeah, Halloween, nah. So anyway, Halloween TV series, a creative reset, they say. Uh, Miramax TV in October signed a deal with Trankes to develop and co-produce Halloween TV series, which is envisioned to potentially launch a cinematic universe. Cool. Not. Uh, Miramax and Blumhouse collaborated with Trankus on the successful recent Halloween movie TV series. Uh, uh, trilogy, sorry, not TV series. Uh, they're not successful. They had diminishing returns. And my god, I mean, they were terrible. I, I, I didn't like any of them. Uh, we're on a fast track. 
It's a big priority for us. I bet it is, because you want to milk that cash cow. We've had lots of exciting conversations in recent months with a number of really talented people. And I think we'll have a pretty good idea of what we're going to be doing very soon. We're hoping to lock down the creative team very soon. So look, I mean, look, at the end of the day, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Because if they're scrapping it all, which they clearly are, there could be some good stuff there. But how are you, get, how are you going to do a TV series? Like creatively speaking how are we going to do a tv series and movies is it going to be a mantle that gets passed on like supernatural stuff what is it it i don't understand from a creative way where you go with this very simple concept to make it fleshed out for such an expansive amount of media like do you have any suggestions and thoughts let me know down below i'll be curious uh, but he says this, while the search for a writer is still ongoing, the idea for the TV series already has been identified. It's a big world, Helwig said, of the 13 movie franchise. The most recent trilogy culminating with Halloween ends, providing a fitting conclusion to the story. So I don't think that is an opportunity to go off the back of it. So start from scratch. So the series going back to the Halloween franchise's origins. The foundation of it is the original film, the John Carpenter movie, the characters of that film, and perhaps a group of characters that we haven't really focused on that much in recent film versions, uh, or even in a number of them. It's creative reset completely, and going back to the original film, as opposed to spinning out of any of the more recent film adaptations. So it's very much the original film. Uh, this is interesting. Development pipeline updates. So at Netflix, Miramax also has in the works the Henma Artist. A series based on Alka Joshi's best-selling debut novel. Um, they, they got a lot with Netflix. There is something at the BBC, but they got a lot with Netflix. It does sound like they're doing a lot with Netflix there, doesn't it? And he even makes a comment on, before we get back to the Halloween stuff, uh, Hollywood in general. He says, we're, pre we're preparing for every single day with everything we do. You just have to assume that money isn't there anymore. You have to assume that the slots are not there anymore. It's going to be hard. It's like the Hunger Games. It's a lot of people fighting it, uh, fighting over very little, and I don't see that really coming to an end this year, or perhaps ever. Good, maybe may, may, may good, more good stuff then. I can't speak today. My God, I did not have good sleep. Anyway, uh, perhaps it's a much needed contraction. It's not sustainable at that level than it was at. So it's probably an alignment that is synced up with economic demands, but it makes it hard for everybody. Good. But anyway, back to the Halloween stuff. So look. Movie, TV show. I just don't understand where they're going to go with it, quite frankly. I look at it and I go, the original movie, there's not a lot there to expand outwards. Is there? Do you think there is? Because I honestly do not. They want to make a cinematic universe based off the first movie. Where do you go from that? Genuinely. It, it's not to say the first one's not good. It's not, a, it's not to say it's a bad movie. But I just don't understand where you go with such a simplistic concept. To become an expansive cinematic universe, right? You've got to have there's you've got to have a lot there, and I feel ultimately they're going to go off the deep end, which I think will put a lot of people off. But thoughts? What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye bye now.